hi everybody welcome back to the youtube channel thank you so much for coming back here so my name is Fidels Osman and I'm a Ghanaian student living in Germany. Um, so in today's video, it's just going to be a Q&A. So if you follow me on Instagram, I put up a question on my Instagram stories that if you have any questions regarding to living or studying in Germany, leave it down and then I'll make a video about it. And I also put the same thing on my community on YouTube. So if you follow me on both places, you should. So this is the right time for you to go and follow me on my on my um Instagram because it's also really really helpful. Okay, so let's get right into today's video. So the first question I have here is um hi Fidels, thanks for the great work you do. Thank you so much. <laughs> is it possible to study my masters in Germany of a course unrelated to my BSc in Nigeria? Example having a BSc in science and going for a master's in economics. If yes, is there any additional work I need to do? Thanks for your help. So from your question, I think you want to divert from your bachelor's program and go into a different field. So this is it. So it actually depends on the school you are going to apply to. For example, me, some time ago, I wanted to apply to um, environmental management and I sent in my application and everything. But um, I didn't get the admission and they gave me a reason that I don't have some bachelor programs i don't have i didn't do um, environmental management i don't have some bachelor courses in environment biology and all of that so i didn't get that program but also i know some schools do consider if you don't have um if you don't have a background in the master's program you want to do because i know somebody who did it in her bachelor's but she's not doing economics so you can be lucky it's also um depends on the school and also i feel like if you want to apply to a master's program that is not related to your bachelor's program probably in your letter of purpose or your sop that's a statement of purpose you should give valid reason why you are the best candidate for this master program okay so i feel like when you are writing your state statement of purpose putting a lot of effort especially if your bachelor your master's program are not really related Give them a very very strong reason why you are the best candidate, why you can do this, or how this program is actually going to benefit you. Okay, I hope I answered this question right. So let's move on to the other question we have. The next we have is um, is studying in Germany better than Sweden? So this person had two questions. One is is studying in Germany better than Sweden? Well, I can't categorically say that studying in Germany is better than in Sweden. But it depends, or let's just say it depends on the program you are going to. So look at the, these programs, their future prospects. If I go for this program, is it going to excel in Germany or in Sweden? So at the end of the day, you have to go back and do more research on that. But I can tell you that both Sweden and Germany are very good countries. I can talk for Germany because I'm living and studying in Germany. There are a lot of opportunities in Germany, okay? So maybe I can convince you to come to Germany, but I can't really say much about Sweden. But I know Sweden is also like economically good. But comparing Sweden and Germany, I would go for Germany because I think I can be wrong. That Germany, economic wise, Germany is bigger than probably Sweden, okay? But both countries are great. And your second question was, um, Regardless if my chosen course is being taught in English, does learning Germany, does learning German help boost my application for admission and scholarship? So it doesn't really matter. So if your program is in English, you you knowing German or not knowing German is not going to influence your your um <clears throat> acceptance rate or you getting a scholarship. That doesn't really matter. But if you the program you are going for is in German, mean obviously you need to have a German proficiency. But then if your program of study is in English, that doesn't really influence your acceptance rates. It doesn't, it's not compulsory for you to have a German proficiency because your course of study is not going to be in German. It's not also going to affect you getting a scholarship as well. I hope I'm making sense. But if you are going for a program which is in German, obviously you should have a German proficiency, okay? Yeah. Moving on. Hi Fidels, can you talk about how you personally raised money for your blocked accounts? And what are your thoughts on loans? Do you think one can survive in Germany and also pay off loans in their home country? I think this first question, how I personally 
raise money for my blog account i think i talked about it in one of my videos how to raise money for your blog account i'm going to link it up there personally i got help for my family my parents and loved ones and also then i was also working so i also saved some some small percentage of the money to like my blog account so i also saved money then i got money for my parents so yeah and also what are your thoughts on loans um if you can get a loan go for it but be smart about it know that if you come to the good thing about germany students are allowed to work so i believe you can have part-time jobs to pay back the loan but it's not it's going to take a while so you can give yourself a year or two to pay back loan because now you're going to com combine um working and, st and schooling which is very very tough so and you know as a student during your school days you can you can work for only 20 hours in a week you can't exceed that number of hours so so you any money is season up and uh, most of the time in your the summer semester like during your vacation that one you can work more than 20 hours and you can earn more money to pay back your loan but i can't really guarantee i can't say for sure when you come you can pay back your loan but there's a high possibility that come here you get part-time jobs and you're able to pay back your loan hopefully okay you can depending on where you find yourself depending on the city you find yourself it's because in some cities there are more jobs than other cities so it's quite relative but there's a possibility of you paying back your loan okay um do you the same person also asks do you think one can survive in germany and also pay off loan in their home country okay i think i've answered this yes you can survive yes you can pay back the loan um i don't i don't know how to answer this it's relative as i said earlier on you can or you might not depending on where you find yourself but it's a high chance that you can actually pay back your loan so let's go on what's the average gpa or class will you need to qualify for admission in germany so for for class at least you should have um, a second class upper degree and um, even if you have a second class lower i'll still urge you to apply because there's no harm in trying especially for schools in germany some of them don't, don't even have um application fee so just spread your wings apply to as many schools as you can because i know some some people have second class lower and they still get admission so just go ahead and, and apply and as i said earlier on put a lot of effort in your statement of purpose that can influence your admission okay and also the gpa so with the german grading system we have um 1.0 to 5.0 1.0 is excellent 5.0 is fail and at least you should have a 2.7 grade so if you have your gpa try to convert it to the german grading system and see if it best fits okay so most schools would be like oh at least 2.7 but nevertheless if you have um lower than that still go ahead and apply you can be lucky okay yeah so the next question here is um my work certificate date of birth doesn't correspond with the one on my international passports will that work against me during my application process um this can be a problem not not maybe with the school but at the embassy when you're going to apply for your visa okay and then they realize because at the embassy they also ask for your work certificate and your international passport and now your date of birth on your certificate and then the passports are conflicting it's it's like it's like you're not really saying the truth that you might you in fact it's not like you might you have a very big problem with the embassy so i'll advise you rectify this error as soon as possible before you start any application process okay because i know some bodies whose passport didn't really tally with his one of his documents that's for the uk embassy and person was banned for like 10 years so please take note of that embassies they are really they can be very distinct so please take notes be make sure your names and all your documents tally like they they're all the same if your names aren't the same like maybe left one of your middle names in one of your documents try to do an affidavit and correct that make sure everything on your document is intact and yeah okay and the second question you have was um my plan is to come to germany next year for my master's in psychology I graduated with a CPA, so CPA I think is cumulated, right? CPA of 3.19 with your experience in German university so far. What are my chances of getting an offer? I don't really know what CPA, CPA, cumulative, I don't know what CPA means. I know of the GPA and the cumulated weighted average. So 
okay say your cpa is 3.19 right i advise you go to google check online how to convert um german grading system to cpa you see that and you can convert your grading system that's a 3.19 to the german system and see if it fits as i said earlier in the video at least you should have um 2.7 grade that's a german grade 2.7 to have an admission but it does but if you have lower than that still go ahead and apply okay and the next question we have here is um do people who completed their studies in the english language still have to provide ielts or so for um so this varies from school to school if you are lucky some schools if you had your bachelor's language if you have a bachelor's program in english they can waive it for they can waive the, those english tests for you and you wouldn't need to write ielts or so for but with some schools definitely they would ask you to present your ielts i.e no. IELTS or two for so it depends on the school okay it's not every school so this person asked i have a master degree in a different field which does not correspond to my bachelor degree i would like to apply to germany for a second master's in relation to my bachelor degree my question is will applying for a second master's affect my application process what are the chances of getting scholarships in germany i think i partly answered this somewhat also as something similar to this i've kind of i kind of answered that partly so you are saying that um you already have a first master's and you want to go for a second master's which doesn't really cause relate to your bachelor's program it doesn't really matter you can go ahead and apply you get an admission as i said put a lot of effort in your statement of purpose also at the embassy when you go to the embassy um they look through your documents and they, they find out that oh you have a first master's they will ask you they might ask you so why do you want to go for a second master's program you need to give them a very valid reason convincing reason why you want to go for a second master's program either if you don't give them a um, a good reason they might actually not give you the visa so take put that in your head okay moving on when our university is gonna start accepting admission so if you want to go to, if you want to be enrolled during the winter semester so the winter semester starts in october you should be looking at most schools would open the application portals from let's say november to early april looking at look at that that period most schools can open the application and you can also go in for the summer semester for the summer semester i'm not so sure when applications are open but you can start looking from like um april july there they might open applications for the summer semester okay please use the daad website all right that's the www.daad.de right so let's go to the next question can i study in germany with my one year old will i apply first then send for him later or we can go for the visa together which is best guaranteed also can i live with my baby in a one bedroom apartment student dorm i don't plan to work in germany though just focus on study and taking care of my baby so with this particular question i may i consulted someone obviously i don't have all the answers to studying and living in germany so i had to consult a friend of mine who has a child here in germany but she did not bring her child from her country okay she actually gave birth to him in germany while she was studying and she gave me an answer so i'm going to read it for you very button okay okay so this is what she said she said yes you can study since your baby is walking that's if your baby is walking and all but she put in brackets but where will you put him when you go to school you have to put that into consideration right classes are physical now i mean classes are no more online you have to go to class how will you combine all that all of that you also have to consider your course this is something you have to also you also have to consider your course how challenging your course is going to be is it stressful can you combine with the baby okay so check that as well and also she said applying together with the baby okay apply together okay she also said apply together with the baby because it's easy to come with the child and apply later visa as a single is hard as it is now reason how it will be for a baby visa isn't guaranteed to but there are success rates meaning you should still apply I meaning when you want to apply for the visa apply together with a baby but then 
you might be denied or you might be given that success rate okay and also no student apartment will give you a single room except your case is critical and you must be in the system like you must already be in the school i don't know like she is okay so most times the student hostel they don't allow parents to stay in with their kids in the hostel it's not allowed at all okay um but then they have rooms for parents which you have to apply if you are lucky you can get either than that you have to get a private apartment somewhere outside the hostel okay and also she added if you try to beat the system your neighbors will report you and they will chase you so it's better to stay safe than sorry meaning if you insist on living inside the student hostel without them knowing you have a kid you know children cry and all of that your neighbors would report you to them and you might be in trouble but then but she said but all in all it is doable so yeah try you might be lucky you get admission and all of that so I would also add to I also add, um I would also add to this okay um you know as a student when you come to study in Germany you need a block account of ten thousand euros so if you are coming in with your kid meaning you need twice that amount or something you don't need just that ten thousand euros you need more than that ten thousand euros to be given a visa to show that you can take care of your kid and yourself all right I hope this has answered your question yeah. I don't know if this video is going to be too long probably i'll do it into two parts but let's see how long it is if it's not that long i'm going to upload everything but it's really long i know a lot of you guys don't like watching long videos i'm going to like put it into two parts so let's move on hello fidels i'm planning to do my bachelor's in mechanical engineering in germany next year uh there's some are there some scholarships or when i borrow that money from a relative how long can it take to pay I think I've answered part of this question. How long can it take you to pay the money? I've answered that already. And you also added, um, in my last, I'm in my last year of diploma now. Which universities are good for studying in Germany? In Germany, so you want to study mechanical engineering, right? So you can look at Technical University of Hamburg. You can look at Technical University of Munich. You can also look at um, Aachen University, RWTH, Aachen University. Please go to their dad website. There are lots of schools there. I don't really know so much of them right now. But if you go there, you find a lot of programs related to mechanical engineering and lots of schools offering that program. So go to their dad website and check. Okay. Next question we have is Is it true about the 10,000 euro in your bank accounts in order to get accepted? Yes, you need 10,000 euros in your block account in order for you to get a visa, all right? Um, hi, Fidels. One. Can you get a part-time job to repay the blocked money you borrowed to come to Germany? I already answered this question. Yes, you can. It's relative depending on where you find yourself. It's possible. Okay, yeah, you can. What other fundings are available apart from that? Um, there are other scholarships you can get apart from that. Um, I don't know. You have to check online. There are so many scholarships. Okay, if you are from Ghana, you can get the GMPC scholarship or um, scholarship secretariat. I also think you can get scholarship from them. Just check online to see if you can get fundings at other places. For sure, I know dad always gives scholarship to students. But check in your home country which other scholarships are there, okay? Your government also gives some scholarships. You need links, connections. Okay, moving on. How do you apply to study nursing with scholarship in Germany? To be honest with you, I don't really know much about studying nursing, especially even with scholarship. But I know with nursing, there are two. Either you go to the university one as a bachelor one, or you do an apprenticeship, which is called Ausbildung. And obviously, if you want to study nursing in Germany, <clears throat> you need to have German language proficiency, at least B2, okay? Um, and for the apprenticeship, it's more like a scholarship. I would say it's a scholarship, which you can apply from your home country. So with this Ausbildung, that's the apprenticeship, the government gives you an amount of 800 to 850 euros every month for your upkeep so if you have that i see that as a scholarship but with the bachelor one i'm sure you could get a tuition free one but it's going to be in german okay and if you want scholarships still go to the dad website check for that scholarships i'm sure you would get scholarships to study in nursing that's if you want to go to the university if you want to do the house building there you can get that 800 to 800 to 850 euros every month okay for your upkeep the next question is, 
how much would it cost me to study in Germany? Obviously, with their block account, you need 10,000 euros and you have to put other costs, okay? Like your flight tickets, um, those other small, small things you have to do before even stepping into the country, like you buying, or if you're coming during the winter semester, then you have to buy all these winter clothes. You put all those costs in mind, okay? For me, my flight ticket was around five hundred dollars. No, that depending on when you are flying, can your flight tickets can vary? Okay, the amount can vary depending on when you are flying. So, I would advise if you want to fly, buy your tickets like weeks, like four weeks, five weeks before your travel date. But conk, you need that ten thousand euros. I can say, all right. And when you are traveling, make sure you have some cash with you. Because as soon as you arrive in Germany, you're not going to get your the money from your block account as soon as possible. It, it's going to take a while. You need to do some validations, some confirmations. You need to upload your student enrollment. You need to open a bank account before you get your money from your block account. And, and that can take up to like two weeks, three weeks, or even a month. So please travel with some cash, okay? I study there for free when I'm 16 years old. Yes, 16 years old in, in the university. I, I think that's possible. You can just make sure that you have all your documents ready and everything. Yes, you can study. Do they have specific grade for WASI results? If you are going to study um bachelor's program, obviously they should have a specific result for that, but I do not know. But your results should make sense, okay? You shouldn't do so bad, but at least you can check online and check for the... It depends on the school, okay? Check for the school's requirements, what grade they need for that WC results, okay? And I can't really answer this because I don't want to lie. I don't know. Check on the... Check the school's requirements for this. And yeah. Moving on. I have done my diploma in maritime transport. I want to start a degree in Germany. Is that possible? So you have done your, you have a diploma in maritime. Yes, it's possible. You can, I don't know which course you are going in for. It's possible to find a degree of your choice. Just go to the dad website. There are so many programs. It's also, it can, I think it's also possible for you to find something related to this maritime transport. I'm not so sure, but please do check the dad website. Yes, it's possible for you to start a degree, okay? Um, hey, will Germany accept me accept me if I have 10,000 euros as financial proof? I'm from Kenya and would study there. Yes, Germany would accept you if you have that 10,000 euros in your block account. But you should also show that you should, um, you should have a sponsor that which shows that he or she can take care of you doing your studies. And also, if you are sponsoring yourself, if you are working, you are a worker, you, are, you want to sponsor yourself, you have to show proof, your bank statements, your pay slips. You have, those are proofs for you to show that, yeah, you can take care of yourself while studying, okay? How friendly are Germans to international students? Um, Germans are really reserved people, but when you get to know them very well, um, they're not so friendly because they are so reserved. But when you get to know them very well, they are very, very nice. Can I use the Germans in my class, for example? Those people are really nice. They have been so, so helpful in our first semester. You know, they help us a lot, what to do, where to get past questions. Those guys were really, really helpful. So, yeah, I would say they are friendly to international students, okay? Depending on who, who you meet by it. Germans in general, I think they are okay, they are cool. Um, can I apply for a student visa with my temporary degree paper for master's? You mean your bachelor's certificate is not ready and you want to use a temporary one? Um, yes, you can. You can send the school an email and explain to them. But along the, li along the line, eventually they would request for your original bachelor's certificate. So put that in mind. Yeah. Can I find... <laughs> God. Somebody says, can I find a girl? I know this person. Can I find a girlfriend in Germany? Yes, you can. Go and join Tinder. Go and join all the online dating apps. In the university, you can find a girlfriend or boyfriend, okay? Are people able to travel to Germany now with the COVID? Like, are visas given? Yes, even when the COVID was really intense and students were still coming in, but it wasn't as much as when 
COVID wasn't around. But yeah, it's still possible. I know a lot of students were still coming to Germany, even with the COVID. But then you have to, there are some rules and regulations like you have to quarantine if you have the vaccine and all of that. Yes, it's possible. Yes, visas are given, okay. Um, please, can you make a video on FSJ? I don't really know much about this. Probably I'll bring in a guest who knows much about FSJ. So FSJ is FSJ, okay. FSJ is um, like a, an exchange program for students, which maybe I'll bring somebody so we can talk about that, more on that. How many schools should you apply to? Apply to just apply to as many schools as you can, as possible, okay? There's no harm in trying, especially those schools, which, those schools that do not have um, application fee. Just go to them, apply to them, like, just apply to many schools so that you stand a higher chance of admission, all right? Um, why is the pro? Somebody also asked. Why is the process now hard? No more interview dates. I mean, category A and B. I guess you are from Nigeria. I heard the case in Nigeria is pretty hard. It takes about a year for a person to get visa appointments. I mean, that's crazy. But I'm from Ghana, and the process in Ghana is pretty easy. Just go to the website. As soon as you get your admission, go to the website, and then there are available dates. You choose a date, okay? In Ghana, it's pretty easy. By Nigeria, I don't know why it's, I don't know why this is happening in Nigeria. I don't know if because of your population, that might be, there's nothing I can do about it. But sorry, I hope things get better, okay? But just keep waiting, be patient, and it's going to get to your time. You get your visa appointment, you know. I know people who actually waited a year to get that appointment, and they are finally here. So you just have to, <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> last question we have here is um please enlighten us on health insurance requirements to study in germany health insurance requirements so with the health insurance insurance requirements as an international student you can't study in germany without health insurance okay so with the um, requirements for health insurance at least you should have your address because they would need that and without this health insurance, you can't go to the hospital. Nobody, no hospital would accept you without your health insurance, okay? And with the health insurance, I think you need your student enrollment, you need certain documents, and before you can get this health insurance. But it's not really a difficult thing. As soon as you arrive in Germany and you settle, you you and register yourself, you get your ausweisers, your ID and everything, you can register for this health insurance. But when you are traveling, you have a temporary health insurance that you travel with. Without that one, you can't even travel to Germany, okay? And with this health insurance, um, there are two, either the public, public, that's a governmental or private one. So the governmental one is more expensive than the private one. The private one you can get from like 40 to 60 euros, but with the public one, you're looking at 100 to 200 euros. So with the public one, if you are below, um, 30 years you are looking at paying 100 to 111 euros but with the private one you are paying if you are above 30 years you are paying like 200 euros but the private one is the cheapest which is like at least 40 60 euros 50 euros you get a private one the public one the public one is the best okay because with the private one then when you go to the hospital you have to pay for everything then now you have to chase the insurance companies to refund you your money and sometimes it's very hectic but with the public or governmental one when you get to the hospital you don't pay anything at all everything is covered surgery everything but with the private one it's a bit complicated now they're refunding your money you know how insurance companies can be but yeah but it depends on you you know your pocket and check if you also know that you have really serious health complications i would advise you go for the public health insurance probably i'll make a video on health insurance in germany and, and delve deeper into it okay so we can i can explain more on the health insurance but the requirements for health insurance basically you need to have your address you need to have um your id passport depending on the health insurance company and what they need but for now i know that's what you need for your health insurance okay so yeah i think this is going to be the end of this video and i hope this was really really helpful and yeah if i might not have answered some of the questions rightly or correctly but 
if i answer anything wrong and you know the answer please put it down in the comment section let's share ideas and yeah see you in another video ciao